Hear ye, hear ye, ladies and germs. Alright, so the last video, the, the, the horrors of the marvelous misadventures of Flapjack, uh, it, it did fucking numbers. Uh, so, uh, thanks for that. Also, thanks for all the new, n new subs. Appreciate you, loved you all. Please stick around, we have a lot of good content coming, yeah. But anyway, alright, listen, so, I want to do another one, right? So, another cartoon show that, you know, probably the, the, the main staple of, of childhood trauma is none other than Curse the Cowardly Dog. Now, personally, personally, don't don't hate me for saying this, but I wasn't the biggest fan of Curse the Cowardly Dog as a kid. I watched it, but it wasn't like my go-to show. Normally, my go-to show was uh, Eddie and Eddie or, 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 or fucking Spongebob. By the way, the Horrors of Spongebob video, we will be doing one of those soon. But anyway, but today we're going to be going over uh, some 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 fucked up shit in Courage the Cowardly Dog. A lot of these you probably already know. Some of these are just were just person or just are just personal. But a lot of these are probably just ones that everyone can agree is just fucked. All right. So these are going to be in no particular order. I'm just going down in the list of of things that, as I see them or as I listen to them, and uh, like their jacked upness, their fucked upness, their scariness. But yeah, this is the horrors of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Let's pop right into it, shall we? All right, so first one I want to discuss is the uh, the origins of Courage episode, which is not necessarily wasn't scary, but more so just stuck with me because it was so it was so sad. It's pretty much the story of how Courage met uh, was adopted by Muriel, how his parents they went to like this doctor or something, and then the, the doctor is is fucked. All right, he's fucked, and for some reason don't know really why. He, he's sending dogs to the moon. Don't know why he's doing it, and don't remember what the, what his what his goal was for doing so. But he's sending dogs to the fucking moon, and he he ends up sending Courage's parents to the moon. So Courage manages to escape, fortunately. But it's a sad episode because he, Courage has to watch as his as his parents are just sent into orbit <laughs> like fucking chimps, and. Courage is just sitting in a back alley dumpster sad and all that, and then Muriel finds him, adopts him, and gives him the name Courage. You know, it's a very it's, it's a very good episode. You know, it's not scary or traumatizing in the sense that uh it'll scare you or keep you up at night, but it it'll stick with you in the sense that it, it was just a sad fucking episode, you know? It, it was just a, it was just a sad ass episode. Right, right. But yes, I do love that episode though. I actually do love that episode. Alright, let's move next on the list. Next we have probably the most well-known one is you're not perfect so at some point courage is having this dream or I guess you call it a nightmare or this fucking I don't even know what you call it a fucking embryo a fucking a sentient sperm uh, I don't know what the fuck it is but it but it appears in courage's dreams and, it, and it's just t telling him he's not perfect it's in it's in 3d 3d render it's, it's weird it, it just it, I don't know what the fuck it is like, like what? Like what the hell even was it? It, it was. Is it an embryo? Is it a sperm? Is it a fucking, a fucking kidney, kidney stone? I don't, I don't know. It looks like a bunch of shit, but it, it's, it has this ugly human face. It, it's just. It tells Courage, you're not perfect. And then, fuck all. Courage wakes up in a howling scream as he normally does, and yeah, it, it, it was. If you're a kid and it's your first time seeing that, yeah, it'll be weird. It'll be creepy. It wasn't personally my creepiest moment from Courage. But for a lot of people, it was. So, the, 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 you know, we put on the list. Alright, this next one is personal, right? This next one is a personal one of mine. And that is the Haunted Mattress episode with Muriel. Muriel gets possessed, and it's pretty much like a play on The Exorcist, right? So Muriel, she she gets possessed by an evil mattress or something, and then she she's just doing all the exorcist shit. You know, she, she's throwing up. Her head's spinning. She's doing a bunch of weird shit. It, it, it's creepy. And, you know, for the first time more or less we, that I can recall we actually see Eustace attempt to help because normally Eustace doesn't give a fuck but this time he does because his wife is uh, currently being inhabited by a, a demonic entity but this episode was uh, a personal personally one of the scary ones for me because as a kid I, I also was just afraid of the exorcist like I watched the exorcist when I was like real young like I snuck up and watched it and yeah, it, it stuck with me, cause <laughs> it's the fucking Exorcist. But yeah, I, I did like the this episode was a play on that. Still scared me, scared the fuck out of me. But it is what it is. Moving on to the next one on this list, we know them, we love them. 
this one is one of my personal favorites and also one of my personal creepiest, and that is Freaky Fred. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for Freaky Fred. Give him a round of applause. Freaky Fred made it to the list. We all know Freaky Fred. We love Freaky Fred with this fucking... But, like, look, y y you can't tell me Freaky Fred isn't a parody of Gary Busey. Like, you cannot say Freaky Fred was not meant to be a, a play on Gary Busey. Because, Jesus, like, yeah, he's Gary Busey, right? But Freaky Fred, he's he's uh, related to Muriel. He's got he's got some problems. He he can't. St he has an addiction to cutting hair. Uh, don't know why, but he, he just gets at, at some points. He's just the episode consists of him talking to himself a lot in his head, narrating how he just wants to cut hair. Like he cut a hamster, shaved a hamster. He shaved some some girl. I guess he liked, and now he wants to shave Courage. And eventually, he does shave Courage. He gets taken back to the psych ward. But I do like this episode because, you know, Freaky Fred, his narration, and he's just really just get naughty. Yeah, like, I like when he says that. He just says naughty a lot. It's lit. Actually fucking lit, alright? I, I do like the Freaky Fred episode. Man's addicted to cutting hair. He's insane. There's this fucking Freddy Cougar-ass music of, of, like, children singing in the background. Whenever he's, 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 getting, he's getting those compulsive thoughts, demonic intentions. Lit ass episode, lit episode. All right, the next one we have Return the Slab. We all know. Do I even, do I even need to explain this one? We know what this. We like it, us courage watchers, courage enjoyers know what freaky. I've been made freaky Fred. Know what Return the Slab is. We know what it is. So basically, that will give you a quick rundown, right? So basically, in this episode, Eustace gets a slab. I can't remember where he got it from. I don't know. If, I don't. I can't remember where he got it from. But basically. This, this is another uh, 3D render ass creature that appears outside of the house and is just telling them to return the slab or suffer his curse. Uh, it is, it's a 3D render, it's creepy, his movements are all like slow and janky and it just doesn't match the animation. It, it, very freaky shit, really. Very, very creepy, very weird. Just return the slab. Return the slab. Ass. It, it's, uh, it was pretty creepy. Was, that was another one that didn't scare me too bad, but it, it is just one that I'd like to mention because for a lot of people it did scare them. So yeah, that's why I put it on here, the Return the Slap episode. Alright, this next one is a personal one for me, but it, I'm sure a lot of people know about this one as well. And this one was the, uh, the Violin Girl. Uh, so basically, now this one, I actually don't remember much about this episode, honestly. But I remember, like, I think Courage is going through a bunch of doors, and there's a bunch of scary shit in each door. He eventually gets to, to this door with the violin girl. She's facing away. She's playing a violin, and Courage thinks, okay, this is cool. And then she turns around, and then fuck all. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's what happens. She turns around, and then f fuck you. She, she's, she's a monster, too. And then Courage just does as any normal being would do in that situation, and just books the fuck out. Right? I remember, I remember this one vividly because I remember I was watching Courage's Cowardly Dog. I remember this episode because, funny story, I was watching Courage. I was watching this episode, right? Never seen this episode before. This is my first time watching it as a kid. And I'm like sitting up close to the TV because like, I don't know, I was just one of those kids who just sat real close to the TV. And I watched this episode, we get to this part, and then when that happens, I, I remember I freaking yeeted myself back. I freaking yeeted myself back and I almost hit my head on the floor. Funny shit. I remember it vividly. Because my mother looked at me and was like, the fuck is you doing? She looked at me like I was crazy. It's madness. It's mad. It was. Right? Alright, this last one. This is another personal one. I'm sure a few of you may know of this one, or at least may feel the same way, but for this one here, it's more so personal to me, and that was the episode where uh, the, the house gets visited by this quote-unquote filmmaker wanting to film a movie with Muriel come to find out he's a fucking zombie and uh yeah he, he, it, it's very creepy because it's the unsettling music his, his appearance is just unsettling and like pieces of, of him are falling off and it, Courage is the only one in this episode that has a lick of sense because Courage can clearly tell that that is a walking corpse I don't know why Muriel or Eustace could not tell that was a walking corpse that they that, that entered their house when in the film a movie out in the middle of fucking nowhere mind you how they how to even know about them? But he just, he just wants to eat Eustace, and then his his other zombie pal pulls up, 
want to and they're and the, the field it's they're trying to make a snuff film that yeah that's pretty much what this was they were, they were trying they were going to make a snuff film is what this was of them eating you eating muriel they're going to eat muriel and but eventually courage puts a stop to it as he normally does he saves muriel uses does fuck all as normal and uh, that's the end of the episode where the zombies just kind of dip out after they realize Courage fucked up the script and they just argue and leave. And that was that episode. And uh, yeah, that, that 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 was some of the distinct horrors of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Thank you all so much. Uh, this one. So overall, as far as traumatization goes, for me, Courage wasn't as traumatizing as uh, the marvelous misadventures of Flapjack was. I I I don't I think I've I may I got creeped out from Courage, but F Flapjack gave me nightmares, right? Flapjack gave me nightmares. Okay. I don't remember Courage giving me nightmares. It, it may have creeped me out at points, but it never gave me nightmares like Flapjack did. Flapjack was just uh so it, it just had that slow burn of just ew oh. Uh. With Courage, you got used to the scary shit happening. That was kind of the point. Flapjack, it was meant to be comedic, but it just wasn't. It was just so uncanny. It was like a creepypasta. But Courage was still a cool show. Still a lit show as a kid. Very lit show. Like I said, wasn't one of my personal, like, all-time favorite shows as a kid, but it was a very good show nonetheless. But like I said, as far as my favorite childhood show go, it was more than likely Edda and Eddie. I remember I watched, I've seen every single fucking episode of Edda and Eddie. But Courage is still a lit show. It's still one of the goaded cartoons. There'll never be another show like Courage. Maybe if there ever is, that'd be lit. But will it ever live up to it? We'll, we'll never know. We'll never we'll have to we'll know when we get there. But that's gonna do it for today's video on the horrors of the Courage the Cowardly Dog. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you all so much for all the for all the love that the last uh, the horrors video got. It, it was something different. It was something. That I, I want to try because I do like shows and movies and such. And I like, like to talk about it, but you know, I just never really th figure out how to go about doing so. But if you guys want to see more of this, please let me know in the comments any more shows or movies. It can they can be they don't even have to be scary. Anything that you think would just be a funny video for me to talk about, or like something good like a good movie or show that'll be fun to talk about. Just just let me know in those comments. I read the comments. I read I read my comments, and you know. I'll see, look at it, and you know, I can see if I can make some good video out of it, you know. I like bad shows too. Bad shows and movies, put those down there as well. I like those as well. But like I said, thank you all so much for all the support. Really do appreciate it. We are so close to hitting 50 subs. We hit 50 subs, that would be epic. That would be an ep epic Fortnite Battle Royale if we hit 50 subs. So can we hit 50? Let's find out. 50 or more. Who, who knows, you know. But that's going to do it. Thank you all so much. Take care of yourselves. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. I'ma fuck with ya.